All right. And as I did say on the beginning of episode five, ending the first season with episode six, Red Side of the Moon. Again, this is a recording. I'm still on that period where I don't have internet. I did change some settings because I thought, um, I don't know, there were, there was some oddities with the video. Hopefully things are a little bit better. Episode 6, Red Star of the Moon, the last episode of Season 1. And Season 2 and Season 3 are going to be recorded as well. I'm gonna leave live streaming for the other things. With that being said, let's go! Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spraying, America! Let's heat this mother up! This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? We're detectives, Sam, not mind readers. Hey, maybe we should ask you Bliss. Mind readers, that's it. No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, the Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors. No, think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. That's it, morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Bibb is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the commissioner. The commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never! What? Oh, no, commissioner. I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat. By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat, the Blister of Tranquility. Oh, boy! I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines. Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon. Okay, while the intro is playing again, let me just say that was a whole leap of logic that didn't make any sense. Roy G. Beef is literally RGB, that is like the color scheme for video and stuff, so it makes sense with Hugh Bliss. It, it, Roy G. Beef actually makes more sense than the morning and the other things. Have Hugh Bliss never said morning? I don't know. I don't think anyone has ever said morning on this whole thing. What the hell? Look at those colors. I don't know. Maybe there was some other clue in the middle of this. We just drove oh, to the moon. Feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time too. We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left. You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility, find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor center? That's a. That's a goblin. What is that? Oh, look, it's a flag. How does it do that when there's no wind on the moon? <laughs> That's the golden question. The lunar lander. It's a lunar lander. So is my Aunt Tilly, but they can't prove anything. Excuse me? Your Aunt Tilly? Okay. Lunar lander. Lunar lander. Cool. Moon visitor center and gift shop. Harry. Well, well. Aren't you Teddy Bear? Once upon a time. But no oh, he's the, the mob boss. Right. Where are you now? Who are you now? I've gone back to being Harry Mole Man. Or should I say I've gone forward? Prismatology has helped me find a new me where the old one used to be. Oh, so... Prismatology actually is a thing. Nice eyeballs, by the way, but 
Why do I look this weird? Are you still a criminal? Are you still a notorious criminal? Or an obscure one, like Kevin Mitnick? No, I've repostulated my lemma since prismatology found me. It's the straight and narrow for Harry Moleman from here on out. Kevin Mitnick? You seem shorter. You seem shorter than you used to. I used to use that exoskeleton, but prismatology has taught me that size doesn't matter. Color does! Harry Mole Man will never be sensitive about being diminutive again! Or about referring to himself in the third person, apparently. Okay, didn't you explode? Didn't you explode? Only in the spiritual sense. Prismatology helped me put Harry Mole Man back together again. Looks like it uh, may have left out a few pieces by mistake. Like the legs. There's not enough of them. Well, I guess it's nice to see you again. Actually, I'm still a little sore that he tried to get you to shoot me last time we saw him. I'm channeling my saturation towards making amends for my past transgressions. Prismatology has Oh, yeah, shut yeah, up. Yeah, we get it. Prismatology. My ass, Prismatology. Prismatology. What are you doing here? So what are you doing here? I monitor the visitor's center and answer people's questions. Security guard, huh? Docent! I'm a docent! Docent. Uh, what's to see around here? What site should we on see the moon? Over here on the moon? Have you seen the lunar lander over there? Yeah. We passed by it, yes. How about the blister of tranquility? Nope. Oh, well, goodness. You should definitely see that. I will in a moment. As soon as I find which way is the blister of tranquility. Which way to the blister of tranquility? Enlightenment is the only way to reach the blister of tranquility. How about we enlighten your skull a little? Would that work? The blister is through that little box right over there. Okay. I was gonna say enlightenment is a shove on the back of the head. For sure. Seeing Hugh Bliss anyway? Seeing Hugh Bliss around here lately? To see the master, I need only search my heart. I meant see him in the traditional fashion. No. He's usually in the blister these days. Okay, I'll go to the blister. See you later. We've got important sightseeing to do. Great! Sad thing to do, things to take, what's here for me? Various merchandise. It looks like cheap touristy crap is the same everywhere in the solar system. Can we get some cheap touristy crap, Sam? No. Oh. oh. Hugh Bliss Master Plan. What the hell is so clear? What's with the chart? I bet it shows how Justin Timberlake is descended from the moon people. This chart outlines Hugh Bliss's ingenious master plan to hypnotize everyone on Earth through connections with the U.S. government, the Internet, and the Toy Mafia. Well, I was close. Weren't you in charge of the Toy Mafia? You're right, I was. I wonder why I didn't know anything about this at the time. Mm. Maybe because you were not the, the two used in the Toy Mafia. Wasn't that other guy, Papa Bear? Snow gloves. These look oddly familiar. T-shirt. Lovely shirt. Can I get one, Sam? Can I, can I, can I, can I? You don't wear shirts, Max. I can still accumulate them, can't I? Oh. These look oddly familiar because they were a puzzle piece on the uh, Sierra Madre game. The Sierra, Sierra Madre? This Sierra Madre the Sierra game. Like, I had to use them to uh, one do... One moment, please. What? I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Don't Just get frisked on me. We understand. Max, what are you doing? Okay, go ahead. Don't get frisking on me. Can I get these books? Whee! Bye, Max. Mysteries of the Moon. The Moon. Shock, denial, anger, depression. Accept them. Studies the stages of grief. Hypno Bean Display. What's supposed to go here? These hypnotic goggles were an early prototype of the Hypno Beam technology currently being used to further the worldwide goals of prismatology. Wow! Invisible goggles! The goggles were stolen a few months ago. Honestly, oh. some people will take anything that's not bolted to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me that we know about this whole thing that is going on because, um... Watch my college stole the goggles and tried to hypnotize the soda poppers. What is this? What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by Hugh Bliss. Big deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. One question. Would it work on wrenches? 
Mm, yeah, the wrench is close enough. Interesting, interesting. Mm. Ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see. Uh, indestructible magical talent. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. What should I say? Virtually indestructible? Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it. You might break it. Oops. But it's not held down very securely. Oh, it, it, oh, it's in my pocket now. Boy, he's gonna frisk me. If I try to leave, he's just gonna max for it. One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. Of course. Oh, what's this? I knew you were up to something. It fell on the floor. Winning my career with the toy mafia wasn't enough. Now you want to cost me this job too? It must have fallen into my pocket while I was looking at your beautiful ceiling architecture. What mafia? Don't try that again, or I'll have to get ugly. I guess a lot of people have done it already. Yes, but I always. Hey. <laughs> What, what One moment, no, please. I'll stop it. Satellite. Is that Bosco I satellite? satellite? I think that is Bosco satellite of defense. There's a big ass of a super ball. What is this? Oh look, there's a slightly beat up robotic exoskeleton in the trash. The past is only useful as fertilizer for the future. Hugh Bliss said that. Of course he did. What else do we have here aside from the oh posters? Picnickers, please do not use craters for waste disposal. Whoops. Max, don't leave the moon. Between the hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., only you can prevent moon fires. There is no oxygen on the moon. There is no oxygen on the moon. There is no oxygen on the moon. Buzz, we got tired of waiting, so we went on without you. Meet you back at the orbiter. Buzz, oh, uh, is this that one Buzz lights you? Uh, show that was on Disney a while ago. Is that a reference? Preservation area. Please stay on marked paths. Warning, wild lunar yaks have been sighted in this area. If you encounter a wild lunar yak, try to make yourself look large, then shriek like a schoolgirl and hightail it for the hills. Lunar moon yak. Dust preservation area. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, could use a hint? Help me out with something. Sure! I want a spoon bending case. I can't exactly say why, but I feel a strange urge to take that display case from the visitor center. In that case, you'd better bone up on your smuggling techniques. Bone up, you say. Never mind. Okay, I gotta try a few things. It really should work on securing this thing better. Can I use... Can I use this? The snow gloves. I'll need to get the case off at first. Oh. Can I use it on the various merchandise? Get the case off at first. Can I can I just I'll use it? Get the case off at first. Can I use the cash register? I'll need to get the case off at first. Can I use on the hypno bean display? As it would be to mix up the displays. I've got better things to do. Can what? I shut up, bonehead? Bone up the boneheads. Can I use it on Max? Max, get over here. Here, Max, hold this. I meant in your hands, but whatever. Oh, Max is holding it. One moment, please. Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay. I have the thing, more or less. Hey, Super Bowl. Hey, Small Worlds. It's our favorite cabinet secretary and secret service man, Agent Super Bowl. Favorite? That'd be like choosing a favorite child, Sam. I love them all. Yeah, Didn't but I we see love last Super Bowl. Beating the Secretary of Defense over the head with his own war agenda. Granted, it's a tough love. Greetings, newcomers. Blessed be. Blessed be is colors and sparkles. Uh, what are you doing here? So let me guess. You're guarding the door to this retreat. Affirmative. I have a passion for it, sir. And Hugh Bliss believed in my door guarding abilities when no one else would. Great story, great story. Okay, let us in. Negative. Only level red prismatologist may enter Hugh Bliss's magical paradise. Magical. What's a level red prismatologist? Because I'm pretty sure I am one. Level red is apex of prismatology, sir. You'd have to undergo spectrum analysis to determine your current level. Spectrum analysis? 
Is that where you lie perfectly still in a lead coffin while brightly colored cotton swabs are inserted into various orifices? No, sir. We gave that up in 87. It's much simpler now. Uh, what? I, I don't... What? Uh, you're studying prismatology. You're studying this prismatology too? Not studying. I've mastered it. Whoa. You mastered prismatology by standing in front of a door? I am one with the door. We exist in the indigo <laughs> wavelength of reality. The door is an illusion. <laughs> I'm one with the door. This prismatology nonsense really works for you? That's right. Happiest I've ever been. Hubless is great. I'm sorry. I'm gushing. <laughs> Okay, we need to see you, Bliss. President Max requires an audience with you, Bliss. I can't let just anyone into the retreat. Orders. Well, as your president, here's your new order. Move it! I'm now a citizen of Bliss, sir. I can't let you in. Citizen of Bliss. Max is the president. What about loyalty to your president? Let us in. Hugh Bliss showed me the folly of independent nations. Plus, the benefits are better. Full medical and dental. Oh, nice. Dental. Uh, let's try this yep, thing. we're level red. Let us in. I'm sure you're mistaken, but we'll run the spectrum analysis anyway. Take this. A unicorn? What am I supposed to do with this? Rub it, sir. Rub it, Sam. Harder. Uh. Harder. Uh. I'm sorry, sir. The unicorn says you're yellow. No one calls us yeller. Draw, partner. Level yellow is frankly rather pathetic, sir. Only level reds may enter the retreat. Regulations. Hmm. All right. However, Hugh Bliss would like you to keep the unicorn as a token of his love. Rub it often to measure your progress towards true bliss. Oh boy, a pet unicorn! I shall call him Horny. You'll call you him Mayonnaise. That. Mayonnaise the unicorn. How does the unicorn work again? How does that unicorn work anyway? By magic, sir. Of course. Right. Either that or it's just a glorified mood ring that reacts to body heat. A mood horn. You're not a believer, sir. I could never explain it to you. Yeah, it's magic. Just let us in. Forget the mood horn. Let us in. Not until you're level red, sir. Uh, fine. So long, Super Bowl. All right, I got, it. I got, I got mayonnaise. Uh, anything to this side? Past the Desoto. Nope. Okay, get into Desoto. Where are we headed now, Sam? Uh, to the Earth. Terra firma. Somehow, we're just gonna. Oh, okay, it flies. I would have been funny if it just like made a straight line all around the, the moon, and then the next scene we're back on Earth. It would be like like a Bethesda game. It just works. She's a queen. What the hell? She's a professional queen. Okay. Uh, I am going to the office first, though. I'm gonna go in order. Go to the office, go to Bosco's, and then go to Sybil's. It's a new sticker. Why do you have new- oh, the VR goggles. The virtual reality goggles we used to destroy the internet. Now all those poor bloggers have to stand on street corners telling passing strangers what TV shows they like to watch. Wait, did we destroy Tumblr? Max, did we destroy Tumblr? Hey, Leonard. Did you remember to feed Leonard today, Max? Sure! Let me rephrase that. What have you been feeding him? You know, bits of string, leftover screws, random scraps of paper I find lying around the office. This morning I fed him something that said, D to the United States of America. Uh... It looked tasty. Oh, at least I'm not feeding him food. That would be wasteful. Well, what do you know? The crucial piece of evidence in the Hudson River Merman Strangler case. I'll have to remember to file that once we're done with this case. A five dollar bill with the face of Abraham Lincoln. Anybody home? Guess not. Okay, the rats don't exist in this case, I think. A new page on the roadkill calendar. Roadkill for the month? The endangered Point Arena mountain beaver. Just yards away from a wildlife preserve. Better luck next time, little guy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It's the president's sophisticated budget allocation system. Ah, it's the thing we used when uh, we gave money to Bosco. And then to Sybil. Uh... 
the toyed message you saw. Hello, Mr. President. The Prime Minister of Pipantasan has announced that you have once again dishonored his country, and he demands satisfaction. He'll be waiting, pistol drawn, in the usual place. <laughs> when you say pistol da drawn, you, when you s say that you know, about the uh, the Minister of Pipantasan, what is Mr. Spatula? Where, where is Mr. Spatula? In any case, when you say that to the Prime Minister of Pipanistan, that he has his pistol drawn, are you talking about a gun or are you talking about his pants? Whee! Oh, there's a rat stealing. Oh, it's Jimmy Two Teeth. Since Max and I never pay for parking anyway, those things just get in the way. Jimmy, what are you doing? Hi, Jimmy. Up to no good as usual, I see. Back off, Fuzz. Get your own meter. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean, we, White Rabbit? Wait, did Max invent something? And pay for something? Uh, I don't care about this anymore. President and assistant destroy internet. Max, why are you the assistant? Hey, boss. Oh, dear God. Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? I just vacuumed. What is going on? looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. It, 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 he's my son. Oh, yeah, You're Mama Bosco. Your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Guys, it's me, Bosco. <gasps> well, why your own mother? But who in their right mind would dress up as their own mother? No one. Good point. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Just for that, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you why I dressed up as her. Oh, come on, Bosco. We were only... You just cost yourself dessert, mister. How's life as a woman? So, how are those Bosco Tech breasts holding up? Oh, these are all natural, honey. Now, I'm not going to lie. I like them bosomy. Uh... Oh, Max. You take after your father. Okay, you just cross the line, pal. Easy, Max. Theoretically, we have even more disturbed people to worry about right now. Do we? Anything more disturbed? To... We, we want to sell something? Well, let's go with the usual. We want to buy something. Did you finish all your chores? Yes. Okay, you can get one thing. One. Do you have any... Do you have any... completed artificial personality disorder symptoms forms? Mm-hmm. You do? Wow, that really would have come in handy earlier. Yeah. Like, a few days ago. Do you have any video of a chicken eating cow manure for laughs? Mm hmm. You what? do? No way! Do you have any global meatball sandwich positioning systems? Mm hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Can we have that? Do you have any three foot by two foot cue cards that say don't vote for me? Mm hmm. What? I can't believe this! It's like all the solutions for the other episodes. Do you have any instant win cheat codes for Reality 2.0? Mm -hmm. Things that would make. Oh, oh. Why didn't we ask before? <laughs> Things that would make the other episodes a lot easier. Do you have Hugh Bliss tied up back there? Mm -mm. Oh. Hey, I was on a roll. That was too easy. Do you have any. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, you okay. Do? Wow, that. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker. And it's just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. <laughs> He's a bad influence. That he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. How much for the, uh, the fart machine? Parts. You, Bosco, Parts. I'm sure it's quite reasonable, Parts. but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. God damn. A hundred trillion? <laughs> you crazy fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I can think of, and you keep paying it. So I ask you, who's the crazy one? Well, with a sales pitch like that, how can we not buy it? Remember, I no earthquakes in the house. I mean... We keep that we you keep asking these ridiculous prices and we keep finding you the money. We never said the money is legal. I think once it was. Okay. Never mind. 
We want to sell something. You know, Bosco, we've collected some pretty valuable merchandise on our travels. And we have the sneaking suspicion you've got a little extra spending money. So how'd you like to buy something from us for a change? Okay. Do you have any... copies of the uncensored 1982 Armand DeSante lookalike contest on Betamax? Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, well. That's the only thing I really need, honey. Okay. See you later, Bosco's mom. Go clean your office. It's a pigsty. Go clean a pigsty. It looks like an office. Okay, can I do I have anything in here that I'm gonna need for the future? Jeez. I'm gonna check everything. 80% crushed! Whee! What the hell? Relax, eh? Are you the Queen of Canada? Beer, eh? Nothing special. Couch, eh? Somewhere a cloth car is missing a bumper. These must be Canadian newspapers. She I is never a... realized how boring newspapers would be without guns. Queen of Ca Canada. Ah, uh, Canadian, eh? <laughs> Nothing the wrong rare with Canadians. Yukon ice cactus. A tiki, which in the ancient language of the Canadians means, look at me, I'm just ahead. Hiya, Sybil. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. But we prefer to be addressed by our official title. Is Sybil hearing the voices again? The people, the people! Are you feeling all right, Sybil? You bet we are. We just got the best job ever. We are the Queen of Canada. Why we? I always thought Rush was the Queen of Canada. That voice when she said we are the Queen of Canada. Why did it sound very similar to when Junko Enoshima says that says we on her royalty voice. I don't know. Queen of Canada. Queen of Canada? How'd you land that gig? Did you find half of an old locket dripping with syrup and bacon grease hinting at a long forgotten lineage? Nothing that interesting, we're afraid. We answered a classified ad. Uh... Yeah, the Canadians are practical that way. They've been looking for a figurehead to give the country a little bit more class. They said we were the perfect candidate. But you're not Canadian. You're not even Canadian, are you? Heck no. But we took two quarters of French in college and we spelled color with a U. If not knowing how to spell is enough to become royalty, I could become President of the United States. You are President of the United States, Max. By God, you're right, Sam. How come I'm not bombing anything right now? Plus, we were the only candidate. Do you, uh, need any help? Need any help with your monarchy? We could be freelance Mounties! Thanks for the offer, guys, but we've got things under control for now. You're helping a lot just by not making any of the obvious Canada jokes. Who would make obvious jokes, eh? Yeah, Sybil. That's just not what we're about. <laughs> Why are you in the U.S. if you're Canadian? If you're Queen of Canada, how come you're still down here in the States? Are you kidding? It's freezing up there. Really? We love our country, but we've got to draw the line somewhere. What are your duties? What kind of stuff does the Queen of Canada do, anyway? It's mostly promotional. We throw out the first puck in hockey games, that kind of thing. This afternoon, we've got to go pose for money. Sam, how come I don't get to pose for- We already talked about this, Max. Your gruesome head frightens shopkeepers and plays havoc with ATMs. Our most important job is to look for ways to spruce up the country. Spruce up? How can you spruce up Canada? How can you possibly spruce up Canada? It's a paradise year-round, from the fresh air and great seafood of British Columbia to the bustling metropolises in Ontario and Quebec. You still have that endorsement with the tourism board? Every little bit helps make ends meet, Max, with the rate you go through new shoes. I didn't complain when you were teething, Sam. How will we improve Canada? Have you come up with any brilliant ideas for improving Canada? Nothing solid yet. We've thought of a new slogan. Canada, it's surprisingly pleasant. 
But we need something bigger, something to really put us on the map. Surprisingly pleasant. This Canada, of course, is pleasant. You may go. In a way, you may go. Uh, do you have any hidden money in the closet? Or it is still locked. Yeah, I think I have an idea of what I need to do. I think I have a very trashy idea of what I need to do. And it may be something to do with Boscos. No. Okay, it's not Unicorn Hot Wingies. It's not... Nope, his horn's still not turning red. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Is it unicorn on the cough machine? No. -uh. Is it unicorn on the sludge no. machine? Is it unicorn in the microwave? I know one way to get horny hot. Don't say it like that. Success. His little horn's nice and red. Wow. I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist. Well, we have that. Ah, damn it, Boscos. Hey, Super Bowl. Uh, we have the unicorn that we haven't shoved in a microwave, I promise. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. Yeah. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. <laughs> nice door. Well, oh, it's one of those magician boxes. What the hell is this? Sam! Sam! There he is! It's Hugh Bliss! Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Hello, Hugh. Hi. Oh my god. I so hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. Neither could I! Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have splendid news! My top secret plan to hypnotize the entire world is nearly complete! <laughs> Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. None shall escape. It'll be fabulous! <laughs> You're a good man. Bravo, bravo! Outstanding! Yeah, yeah. Outstanding! You're awesome! Oh, it takes you. This guy really knows how to work a room. Keep up the great work, everyone. I'm tickled pink. Ha <laughs> ha! An entire planet of prismatologists. It's like a dream. The kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right, the best kind! P.S. Please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you! No promises. So, who do we have here? We have Abraham Lincoln, I have Mrs. Spatula. We have the bug. Oh yeah, the bug isn't in the inventory, I forgot to check. We have the cops, we have a shark and a pool. Didn't I see Mr. Feathery here? That is Mr. Feathery. What the hell is this lush vegetation? Is Isn't that... that Hubert Max? No way! Too healthy! You must be at least this tall to ride this ride. Fascist oppressors! Uh, this means that Sam can go in there, right? What the hell? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Please keep your arms and legs and the right on the thighs. Okay, get in the roller coaster. Get in, Max. And there we go. Why, Sam? <laughs> what are you doing? That's fun. Uh, the ant farm. Seen ants meditating before. Wait, is everyone here? Everyone that matters? Hole. This must go all the way down to the center of the moon. What's down there? Looks like nougat. Nougat. 
Rainbow Elevator. Um, should I be here? That's certainly an important looking door. I wonder what's behind it. Something really secret or something really ugly, I'm guessing. Or a really ugly secret. One can only hope. Uh, it's pretty I... intimidating. Okay, I can True, go. But only in an inanimate object kind of way. Okay, I can go in. What else is in here? On the darkness. Huh. Statue of a Hugh Bliss. I just hope this thing doesn't sing. Another statue of a Hugh Bliss. Hold I on never a spork. understand modern art. Giant spork. I think that's the biggest, meanest looking spork I ever saw outside of Chicago. Mrs. Spatula. Mr. Spatula, so this is where you've been. We were worried sick. Couldn't you at least have left a note? Yeah, uh, sorry, Sam. He sent us an email. <laughs> I meant to tell you. Max, come on. I was worried sick. Hi, bug. Hey, Max, is that our bug? Hey, Max, is that our bug? He still got it. Thank you. You're a prismatologist, too? Yes, I am. I'm so happy I could do rainbows. Rainbows! Uh, we'll just keep our distance, then. And here are the cops. Look, Max, it's our obsolete computer pals, the cops. They don't sound very happy to see us. You destroyed reality 2.0. So? Destroy! Remember your bliss. Adopt a more positive attitude now. Prismatologists, prisma, blah, blah, prismatology helping you? Is prismatology teaching you anything? That one's my favorite. It sounds like he's always cursing. That is because he is. Oh. We're learning the most powerful skill of them all: the power to see within ourselves to become the best we can be. How do you see within yourselves? How does one go about seeing within oneself? Use of magical quanta required for a bootstrap procedure. Come again? Four machines must learn to look within their leaden shells to find the answers within. One fabulous magical talisman makes it all possible. This week only. Can we have the talisman? Could we borrow your magical talisman? Never! We are all powerful! We're sorry, that power is currently in use. Working hard to create an unbeatable AI. We apologize for any inconvenience. Another one. What are you doing here? What are you computers doing here on the moon? Prismatology has restored our sense of purpose. After you destroyed Reality 2.0, we banded together to make a newer, even better game. Oh boy. Coming soon. Oh. It will rock your world! You came to a private retreat on the moon to work on something as insubstantial as a video game? Oi. Not just any game. We are creating the most advanced AI in history. In a world where two forces battle for domination of a war-torn landscape, only one will draw the line and reign supreme. Do you get to shoot stuff? It's not a good game until you get to shoot stuff. Thank you for your feedback. We will incorporate shooting into version 2.0. Let's try okay, the video game. Max and I'll try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation! The year is 2048. In a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant corporations, you are wait, 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 wait. a enhanced space marine with no memory of his past. Are you the chosen one foretold by prophecy? Do you have the strength to survive? Tick! Oh. I will destroy you. Really? Uh, that was cyberpunk for sure. Uh, started there. Why? Go in the middle. Uh, that's. You lost. You cannot defeat me. Actually, I just kind of did. Yeah, roar. By your calculations, your chances of winning were one in ten trillion. The sun was in my eyes! Thank you for but playing Tic-Tac Doom. We'll continue to look within ourselves and improve our award-winning AI to make it even more challenging. It was too short and not hard enough. I want my money back! Please try again later. Oh, so they're using the talisman thingy to create a 
better AI. But because I won, they're gonna start trying, so I can have. Okay, so I need to lose. Uh, can you play your motivational song again? Let's hear that motivational song of yours again. Why, Sam? Why? <laughs> Bliss has taught us we no longer need self hyphen reinforcement. Oh, come on. We have look inside ourselves, and we totally rock. That's actually pretty good. But why prismatology? What made you turn to prismatology? It's kind of a long story. <laughs> That just about sums it up. It's just like I was there! <laughs> How's life on the moon? How's life on the moon treating you? A dusty wasteland in the cold of space. A shining oasis in the dark. One brilliant leader. This spring you'll believe in the triumph of the computerized spirit. Plus we get free snacks. Free snacks? I hunger! I hunger! What will you do next? What are you guys going to do once you're done with prismatology? Online distribution. It's going to be huge. Oh god. They're gonna work on Amazon. Let's try the video game. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tick tack doom owned! Okay, let's try to lose on purpose. Uh Get a lot of this move! No. Vengeance is mine! Uh, I can't place it there. Oh, here. Dude. Oh, I win. Either way, I win. Bored, Sam. I want to go outside. Your artificial intelligence. My brother will continue to. Dude, it's, why is it so difficult to lose? Um. Come on, man. I know. You are destroyed. Oh darn! You beat me fair and square. Good game. I totally beat you guys. Our journey of personal awareness is now complete. We have mastered the most advanced artificial intelligence ever created. You suck so bad. Oh Let me try, Sam. I know I can. How dare you? Super sophisticated AI entity. Brother, speak so that the primitive earthlings may understand. Of course. We smart, you dumb. No more need look within self. What the hell? Hey, can we take this? Congratulations, you've won free tickets to self awareness. Yay! Oh. Self awareness. Are limited to those of Columbia's composition. What did he say? The amazing ability to see through lead may for some viewers. Huh. Citro light. Light of vision. Hmm. Nothing happened. Is it on the cops? Spooky. Who knew so many household electronics were made of lead? Alleged use of inexpensive substandard materials is strongly denied by the manufacturer. To speak to a better business bureau representative, press 3. Can I do that now? Oh, God damn. It's all lead stuff. Mr. Featherly! Can I? Thank you. I'm beginning to think we already know everyone on the moon. How are you, Mr. Featherly? Oh, for heaven's sake! My name is not Featherly. It's Philo Pennyworth. Featherly is the name of my former television character. Have you no ability to distinguish between fantasy and reality? Oh. Well, what's so important about that anyway? Well, how's the TV show doing, uh, Mr. Featherly? How's Midtown Cowboys doing these days? You mean you don't even know? Uh, we don't the watch TV. The show was cancelled almost immediately after your first and only <laughs> appearance. All that flap over the tabloid photos of you two with that alien brought the censors down on us. That was no alien. It was Hugh Bliss. The show was ruined, and my career along with it. Max is president. Did you know Max is president now? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. That's fair. Why is pr why pr prismatology? How did you happen to get into prismatology? You don't seem like the type. It's an excellent networking opportunity for an actor. 
Yes, this place appears to be littered with Hollywood luminaries. Ordinarily it is. I believe there's a party at Kevin Bacon's home this evening, so naturally everyone is there. Kevin Bacon? Why are you here? How come you're not at Kevin Bacon's place? I'd rather not talk about it. No matter. While I am here, I am learning new skills to broaden my appeal in the entertainment industry. Like what? Use your eyes, man! Um, what kind of prismatologist are you? You're a little snarky for a prismatologist, aren't you? There are many shades on the rainbow. And what's with the hat? What's with the hat? I'm pursuing new opportunities in the entertainment field. What are you, pulling rabbits out of it? Rats! Or at least I'm trying to. Rats? Oh, ah! Uh. Drat! No, rats. You can't pull the rat out. I gather the rat out of the hat trick isn't going so well? The principles involved are quite simple. I could even teach them to adult like you. Now, hold on a minute. But I'm having trouble getting the rat all the way out. It appears to be stuck. The rat stuck in the hat. How long has the rat been stuck in the hat? You misunderstand. The rat is not actually in the hat. It's stuck somewhere else. The hat is acting as a dimensional portal to wherever the rat happens to be. Wow. Is it magic or science? Is there really any difference? Uh, teaches the trick. Did you teach me right how to pull a rat out of a hat? Prismatology instructs us to share. So? But I've simply got to perform the trick successfully myself first. I can't have you scooping me. No, I guess not. Okay, so Catch I later, need... Beverly. Pennyworth! My name is Pennyworth! I need to release um, Jimmy Two Teeth from the, uh, the thing. Hey, Lincoln. Look, Max, it's the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, brethren, to the blister of... Oh, it's you two. <laughs> Not so tough without your fancy giant robot body, are you? I can still bite off your fluffy little... Uh, I mean... Let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation and bathe in the yellow of peace and brotherhood. Bathe in the yellow? Just what kind of camp is this? A kinky one. Is prismatology helping you? Is prismatology teaching you anything? I'm working to master the miraculous power of gastrokinesis. You can teleport Cuban dictators? Well, yes. But now I'm working on gastrokinesis, uh, the ability to make anyone throw up with my mind. With my mind. Uh, can we do that? Too? Max and I are always looking for new ways to make people throw up. Teach us. Please. As it is now, I can make people vomit with every part of my body except my mind. Well, if you are a true prismatologist, I suppose I'm obliged to help you. But there's a problem. I accidentally swallowed the gastrokinesis talisman. Oh, congrats. Sam, is that ironic or sarcastic? It's pretty damned inconvenient. Can we have it? The Can't talisman, you make I mean? throw up the gastrokinesis talisman? I haven't thrown up since 1863, right after I gave the Gettysburg Address. I was kind of nervous that day. I didn't have anything prepared. So, okay, what's your problem? You're not still bitter about the election, are you? Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny wig bits? Election? Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Only a grade-A sociopathic masochist would want that thankless job. Grade-A? <laughs> I'm flattered. But you Abraham Lincoln. So why are you upset? Why the long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. This is all happening but so fast. You said about know what to say. Not you, moron. I'm talking about that radiant vision of beauty you had interrupt my family value speech. You mean Sybil? Is that her name? Sybil? It's like a chorus of angels. Oh, God. Well, she's the queen of Canada. Canada. Aren't you married? Aren't you married? What about Mary, your mannish but devoted wife? Why don't you find a nice giant statue of her? Settle down and start cranking out little bouncing baby war memorials. There are none left. Lady Bird Johnson had all graven images of former first ladies destroyed during the Great Enlightenment of 1963. I don't know who that is. How can a, can a head find love? How can you expect to have a complete relationship with someone when you're, well, missing some key sub-neck accoutrements? 
What? How you gonna make time with the ladies, AL? You're just ahead! Obviously, you two never read Cosmo. Cosmo? I mean, if you're just ahead, there's only thing you can give. Uh. We can give you Sybil's phone number so you can uh. set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. Phone. Oh, you're gonna get the, the cop. Hello? If you'd like to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. Hell yeah, Just brother. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello? Civil pandemic speaking. Uh, okay, hi. so I guess we're doing this. It's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, you've got some nerve calling after how you treated me. Wait, don't hang up. Alright, this is gonna be one of those ever repeating lines of like, you, you choose different things and something is gonna say a different line until one is correct and then you say the wrong line and then I'm gonna have to go back to square one. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Uh, I got needs, baby. Uh, Lincoln plus Sibo equals ecstasy. I'm issuing a romanticipation. Oh, God damn, just relax, baby. Uh, I got needs, baby. <laughs> I got needs, baby. I may be made of stone, but your love is my chisel. <laughs> that old line. You don't even know Get sad instantly. <laughs> uh, we'll help you with Sybil. Let's try calling Sybil again. Hello? Hi, it's a... Lincoln plus Sybil equals, equals ecstasy. <laughs> you know chemistry. Because I'm having an explosive reaction. The formula? Lincoln plus Sybil equals ecstasy. Hmm. If you think I'm that gullible, oh. you don't know me at all. <laughs> Everyone gets insta sad. Let's try call. Hello? Hi, it's Abe again. I just imagine like you're trying to work as the Queen of Canada. You have this blockhead just calling you over and over on the phone. Let's go home, man. He's showing a romance, and he keeps saying alpha one-liners. Because I have this dog man just telling it in your ears. I am issuing you a romancipation proclamation. Let's set aside our differences and commence on the reconstruction. Hmm. Call me back in four score in seven years. Oh god. Let's try. Yeah, it has to be the last one. Eh? Just relax, baby. Think positive, and Lincoln gonna make it all better. Hmm. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. Woman. Don't call her woman. Got curves like a ray. Okay, maybe this one. Got a body that won't quit. Just don't start with woman. It's so rude. Girl, you got tighter curves than a NASCAR track. What? Who talks like <laughs> Okay, that's actually... <laughs> what? <laughs> Woman, you got a body that just won't quit. That may have worked in the 1800s, Abe, but it just shows how little you know me. Yeah, that's what I thought, actually. <laughs> Honest, you're really hot. I can't wait to go on double dates with you and your sister. Oh yeah? Well... Hello! The rest of this conversation has been blocked by FCC uh, Oh, okay. That, that's fair. That's actually fair. Let's... Lady, you a stone cold fox. Seriously? Uh, Alright. Damn! <laughs> oh, well, you're pretty foxy yourself. And I happen to love foxes. A lot of foxes right. are pretty Maybe cute, I'll yeah. Give you another chance. If we go out on a date, what do you want to do? Oh, uh, play some one on one love hockey? Lie down and get psychoanalyzed? Tattoo my head all over your body, jeez. Start our own alien love triangle. We who? <laughs> With your sister? Uh. I mean, she is the Queen of Canada. I, I guess it would be this one. Oh, sure, whatever. 
I figure we watch a hockey game, have a couple of beers, get some poutine, you know. Okay, the maybe usual. not 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 that. Oh, Abe. I never knew you had such a deep appreciation okay, never mind. for culture. It all sounds wonderful. Come over as soon as you can. Whoa. Was that did she actually say yes? Hello, you just totally scored. Thank you. Thank you, what? Congratulations, why? Mr. Lincoln. Oh my gosh. What if she wants to get serious? I can't do this. I'm so nervous I've got butterflies. I have to ask. Where? Stand back, Max. Wherever they are, I have a feeling they're coming back up. Oh, I don't feel so good. What if she... And I can't... Oh, man. And here I thought our trip to the moon was going to be boring. Max, be a sport and pick that up for me. Not a chance. Hey, Lincoln, it. can I take this? I'm not sure why you'd want to use the power of prismatology to make people throw up, but go ahead. I've got more important things to worry about. Oh god, stop. Okay, I'm going to make uh, Max throw up, because he has a thing that I want. Hey, it's that display case. Thanks, little pal. Aw, oh, I was saving that! For what? It's complicated, but it has to do with my personal vendetta against a certain major coffee house chain. Really? It's just a display case, though. How do I open this? Do I just use I'll it? I need to get the case off at first. How do you? Okay, how do I get this off? Okay, let me use all of this everywhere. Rocket engine. Well, that's quite a rocket engine. Land the door. The door is locked. Hey, the keys are locked inside. So many of us are like that. Can I? I mean, it is virtually indestructible. Does it resist all, uh, ultra powered? rocket fuel to the face. I just have to find a way to open it. Is there anything here that I can use? Because Bosco's for some reason didn't have anything. Anything here? We had to clean out the cabinet to make room for Max's impeachment files. Impeachment files. Uh, Brandon Max desk. Max thought the desk in the Oval Office was too showy. Oh, well, it kind of is. Uh, the coat hanger. Ah, oh, I can. Okay. Sam, without that, we can't watch Colonel Mudshank's monkey party tonight. They were gonna vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshank's exiled for treason. Remember? Oh yeah. Not not Whee! really. Okay, I have something to open. Force open the Mula Lander door. Okay, then we use the coat hanger on the Lander door. Hi, Sam. And he's back. Sam? I think the controls don't work how they're supposed to. Well, we got a trink the trinket thingy. Max, scat away from the trinket, please. Like, shove off. Oh, boy. It looks like that rocket melted the virtually indestructible case right off the indestructible magic spoon vending talisman. Did the peanut butter on the spoon survive? Sorry, little pal. No. Not a peanut butter. Okay, now that I have the spoon bending, what do I do? What? Did I bend this? Ooh. I can. For some reason. Alright, that is bent. Uh, it didn't happen. Okay, something's gonna happen there. Can I use the spoon baiting talisman to bend meter? And there goes the rat. Kind of fun. The rat went flying. Okay. Oh, the sport came back to the original position. What is the position? Okay. How's Hat. Silence. 
I believe I have finally mastered this pinnacle of prestidigitation. The prestidigitation. Rat from the hat. Prestidigitation. Rats. Timmy two teeth. Hey. Oh, I just remembered. I can't stand rats. The vile vermin. Smile when you say that, Beaky. Beaky. Sheesh. I hate this pulling out of the hat business. Next time, I'll find something better to hang on to. Oh dear, no. There won't be a next time. I shall never do this trick again. In fact, I would appreciate it if you would be so good as to remove the hat from my presence. Sure. Sure thing. We got a breast thingy hat. Just pull rats out of the cosmos. Hey, hey Jimmy. Can you show it to no Pennyward? No? Okay. Can I do anything to this door? Can I use the LED vision on the door? I can- oh, I can. Alright. Oh, there's a, sp a spoon-shaped scone over there. Hey, I think that's my bowling ball. Your bowling ball? Oh, the door. Why is there always a foot? It's a metaphor. You don't even know what that means. Sure I do. It's like a metal floor without the L's. Your ability to make sense without making sense staggers me, little pal. God damn it. I skipped text because I thought it would repeat again. My bad. Neat. Okay, we make that disappear and then we use the spoon bending talisman on the scone. Hope it didn't hurt the bowling ball. There he is! The jig's up, you bliss. We've come a long way for this, my friend, so buckle up, cause the freelance police are taking you downtown. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. You sure are. Yes. You're just in time for the show. Please, no flash photography. Hello, Hugh Bliss. Now, so are you. Oh. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, just enlisted a few billion followers. Touch me, and you'll have quite a happy end. Mob on your hands. Not if we reverse the effects of the hypno beam. I don't think so. For in all the universe, there's only one force chaotic and destructive enough to stop me now. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Max? Hello. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm I'm flattered, but no, you wouldn't. Because I'm going to drum roll, please. No, you wouldn't. Because uh, I'm going please. to drum roll, please. Really? What, what does is going that on? Even mean? It means I chop off every part of you I don't like. It's like circumcision, but <laughs> double the laughs. Hey! Wait, what? Here we go! Goodbye, murderous hand! <gasps> oh. Goodbye, gluttonous stomach! Goodbye, slothful tail! Ow! And with those naughty body parts, your vices are purged from your soul! Bye-bye! Oh my god. To shoot you all. <laughs> oh boy, a stomach. Just what I always wanted. Now come here and let me eat you. <laughs> Great, a tail. Hmm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max. I just beat the living vice out of you. <laughs> I'm pure bliss. Ah. Is that how go it works? Away, rotten Maxes. I don't like you. Shoo 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 go away. Now <laughs> nothing can stop me. I win. Okay, bye now. Bye bye. Oh, yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes. Mmm, more. Oh, yes. So good. Oh. Ew. Oh my. 
so happy. Uh, Max, are you okay? Yes, my Help me grab that ponytail freak so show and reverse happiness. the effects of the beam. Oh, yes, but Sam, I love oh, that ponytail yes, freak so show. Good. Can you? Oh, oh, oh my! No! So happy. Hugh Blaze, a little bit I swear to you, I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. I love you too. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can stop this thing then. First of all, crystals. These crystals must operate something important. No, I just think they look pretty. A bit cliche if you ask me. Uh, what? Nothing. A bit cliche if you ask me. I can see the dumb bud. here. Apparently, Mr. Mind Reader has to keep tabs on his followers the old-fashioned way. What? Nothing. You have to keep tab. Okay. What is this? Statue. Someone around here's got an incurable case of narcissism. What? Nothing. Incurable. They appear to be quite indestructible. Okay, what do I do now? Button to leave. Do I need to press the button to get back in? I forgot to check. I think we found one of your doppelgangers, little pal. We're all doppelgangers under the skin, Sam. Hmm. And I know how to take care of Can I just click on Red Max? You there, imposter! My buddy needs his shooting hand back. No, Sam. I'm a pacifist now. Violence is the bugaboo of a small imagination. You'll have to pry this hand from my cold, dead fingers! Eat the fiery lead of my inalienable freedoms! Inalienable freedoms. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it. And it's gonna look weird. It may look weird on the, on the editing. But finally my internet is back. After almost 72 hours of technical support. Saying that they're coming soon. But yeah, got internet. Yay. Also, I kind of did this part, but the game didn't save it. I, here's what I have to do. We bend this. And then we pick the gun, wait for Max to be on the roller coaster and shoot the button. Please keep your arms on all. Oh, okay, I see. Makes sense in retrospect. No! Yes. Not. All of a sudden, I feel a nearly irrepressible desire to shoot at anything that moves. That's the spirit. Not me, knucklehead. Excuse me. Okay, now we're gonna have to find the other pieces, which I have no idea where they are. It's another one of you. He oh, fun one. 20 feet from the box before collapsing under the weight of his own laziness. Ennui is one of the five fundamental forces. <sighs> no TV. Why even go on? You should all just lie on your faces and wait for death. It's true. I got nothing. I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. <laughs> this guy's the death of the party. He sure is. Okay, what do we do with you? Hey, Pseudo Max, how's it going? Uh, I need your tail for my little buddy here. How about handing it over? Nah. Hmm, uh, uh. he's heavier than he looks. Aren't we all? Excuse me? Okay, how do I heavy? Um, heavy? Okay, that's not it. Get back in there. Uh, 
and here we are. Oh, whoa. Hey, hey. What's up, AL? How's the date going? Oh, thank goodness you two have come. Why, hello, Mr. Lincoln. You're looking quite distinguished today. What's wrong with him? He hasn't been himself lately. Whatever. You gotta help me with this date. Okay. The honeymoon's already over? What's the problem? She's really into me. See there, Abraham? All it took was a little bit of courage. No, I mean really into me. She's so nice. It's giving me the creeps. Huh? Sybil? Sybil, are you okay? Hugh Bliss shot some kind of weird energy beam all over the planet. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Oh, I see. And I'm perfectly happy, Sam. Oh, and hello, Brother Max. Tangerine Dreams and Aqua wishes to you this day. Why, thank you, Sybil. You're looking especially lovely today. I will... This is horrific. Yeah, I will undo her soul fiber by fiber and put it in a sandwich. Can you stop being like that? Snap out of it. You've got to snap out of it. Snap out of what, friend Sam? For the first time in my life, I've got a perfect job, a rock-solid relationship, and an incomparable feeling of peace. I've never been so content in all my life. Don't worry, we'll fix that. <laughs> Prismatology is a sham. This prismatology business is all a lie. Is pure happiness a lie? Is peace yes. on Earth a hopeless dream? Kinda. Are unicorns imaginary? Mostly, probably, and it depends on how far you live from a facility that processes nuclear waste. Uh, how will we improve Canada? Have you had any new ideas for improving Canada? With this new feeling of peace and tranquility, I feel like my mind is alive with possibilities! I only wish there was some way to extend this feeling of goodwill and generosity to all countries of the world! I um, always suspected that when the world turned nice and pleasant, Canada would be the first to fall. How's the date going? How are things going with you and Mr. Lincoln? Simply wonderful! Isn't that right, Abraham? P P pretty lady. <laughs> he has such a way with words. Quite the smooth talker. <laughs> It sounds like Mr. Female. Look at me, I wrote the Gettysburg Address isn't as good with words as he led us to believe. Oh, he'll be fine once he's managed to stop hyperventilating. <laughs> Mama. Excuse me? Someone's gotta ask. Are you two planning on having kids someday? <laughs> okay. Goodbye. So long, Sybil. More, more, oh, more it. juice, more nachos! Holy heaping helpings of high fructose corn syrup. He's eating everything in sight. Bosco, do not freak out. Atta boy, eat up so you'll grow big and strong. Oh god. What is the world coming to? Bosco, pass the knobs. Aisle four. Oh, oh my, that one does have an appetite. At the rate he's going, his stomach won't even fit back inside you. I have no need for my earthly stomach any longer, Sam. I'm on Hugh Bliss's cleansing fast of lemon, water, and sunshine. As God is my witness, by the end of this day, you will be eating Coco Nougat Butterballs again. Coco Nougat Butterballs. Thunderbolt is eat What the hell? Is the microphone picking that up? It is like literal Thunderbolt. Just. I don't know it again. It's a very stormy season, but that doesn't seem to be any soon. Hey, Bosco's mom. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. You sure well, are. I thought you were Bosco's mom. Oh, yes, I'm Bosco's mom, Hugh Bliss. Identity really is a difficult concept. Aren't you upset? Bosco, there's a munchkin terrorist in your store. Get excited. I'm just glad I could be of help to that poor, hungry soul. You truly are a treasure, brother. Uh, uh, sister. Kindness? Charity? Understanding? When will this hellish nightmare end? We wanna buy something. We wanna buy something. Goody! 
Uh, do you have any, um... Do you have any... Love and magic? Yes! Aww. Give us the earthquake maker. One earthquake maker, barkeep. A hundred trillion, please. What? But Bosco, aren't you feeling generous? Yes, but I need the money for my poor sick mother. Aren't you? Huh? Okay. Never mind. See you later. Um. Bye. Kind of need that one trillion. Hey, uh, Remax. Excuse me, Mr. Vice Manifestation. <gasps> you look delicious. Look, pal, I need your stomach so I can put my buddy back together. Hand it over and only one of us gets hurt. I can't resist the rich, meaty taste of dog and rabbit! <laughs> oh, God. Well, here we are in your stomach. What the hell did I just step in? I'm enjoying the womb-like meditative quality of the pyloric sphincter. Don't Darn say womb-like. Well, I've still got my magic doohickey. Oh. <laughs> Something tells me I'm gonna be smelling that for the rest of my life. Okay, so how do we fix Green Max? Gastrokinesis. It's beautiful. That's something. Um, the spoon I don't bending think power. It works on people, except maybe if they're shaped like spoons. Okay, okay, shut up. What if I use um, the rat? Hey! Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hmm, something smells good. Hey, are you gonna eat that? Well, I suppose I could share. Ooh. What the hell? What if I. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Samini. Hey, let go! Oh, What's this I see. Is that my stomach? Give me that hat. <laughs> Lost an item. Hey, I feel all warm inside. Like my belly's a sort of cozy place where flavored popcorn and sugar drinks can meet and mingle. That's my boy. Now I just need to get his butt, his tail, his butt there. Okay, I had to cheat on this because I got a little bit lost. But it's a detail that is just commented. And I 100% forgot. But if you remember at some point, Max said that uh, he fed the Constitution, the Declaration of Constitution, the, the important. Uh, um, the thing for hey, to learn. How's it going? The important thing to learn. The important paper, the constitution, declaration, whatever. Hey, looks like your paperwork finally came through. It's the deed to the United States. That. And it's still moist. Yeah, if I would not remember that. I just wouldn't. I 100% forgot. Hey, Sybil. Do you want the United States? You look like you're in a shopping mood. Might you be interested in, say, the United States? Oh, how lovely! We can call it Lower Saskatchewan! What a perfectly delightful name! Yeah, yeah, alright. How much you willing to spend? Oh, such a grand country deserves a grand price! We simply refuse to buy it for less than 100 trillion dollars! It's only fair! We wouldn't hear of it! That's far too much. We take it, Mr. President. We take it. If you insist, Your Highness. Is cash all right? We've been dying to use the new Canadian trillion dollar notes. <laughs> Is that a picture of Celine Dion? She's a national <laughs> treasure. That's nice. Hey, go, Bosco. Want to buy something? Goody. Give us the earthquake maker. Here you go, Bosco. One hundred trillion in completely non-counterfeit bills. Hmm. Let me look at that. Celine Dion. Okay, looks good to me. Here's your earthquake maker. A remote control? Don't get me wrong. I love TV as much as the next guy, but it controls my satellite defense system. Only one button still works, though. 
Just press it for an earthquake. Oh. And this adheres, I hope, to all reasonable safety guidelines? Who knows? Oh, one more thing. You have to be in range of the satellite for it to work. All right, where'd you park it? For some reason, I was suspicious of those blessed people on the moon, so I left it up there. How silly of me. Gotta use it on the moon. Check. Thank you, and goodbye, Brother Bosco. So this is the first time Bosco actually gives some technology to us. It's not like, I don't know, a bug, a, a napkin with some boogers. Oh, wait, the flag changed. Oh well, at least it's nice looking. <laughs> the flag has a switcheroo. And then we get the earthquake maker. Let's see if I can get any reception for this thing here. Oh, I see. Well, <laughs> on you, Sam. Someone could have been hurt. I miss you, little pal. And uh, give me that butt. I'm afraid I'm going to be needing your tail so I can put my little buddy back together in a Frankenstein-like fashion. Whatever. Sam, what are you doing? You may not want to watch this. Gee, all of a sudden I feel like watching TV and eating orange marshmallow peanuts instead of doing anything constructive. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. It's so strange. I... Have I been away, Sam? In a manner of speaking, Hugh Bliss split you into pieces, so you've kind of been all over the place. Hugh Bliss. I hate that guy now, with his phony smile and his artificial happy-happy. What do you say we tar and feather that self-righteous jerk? Good to have you back, little buddy. Time to get ourselves some good old-fashioned payback. And incidentally, save the world in the process. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? I need to reload my gun. Hurry, little buddy, get him! Hi, I'm Hugh Blit. Stop saying that! Huh? Yeah! Uh oh, He's you gonna... little idiot! You ruined my hypno beam. I should have killed you earlier, but what can I say? I'm too nice. That said, die, bunny! Wrong. What the? What the? Hi, we're you Liz. Oh my god. We are a spacefaring colony of sentient bacteria. Ooh. A sentence I really did not expect to hear today. <laughs> We cannot be harmed by bullets. We only need one thing to feed. You see, we feed on the endorphins produced by humans experiencing true bliss. So, you don't care if people are happy at all. You just want to eat till you drop. What's yes. wrong with that? Hey, I hear that. <laughs> but you want us to starve. And for that, you will die. <gasps> In the most fantastic display of the YouTube Hey, gotta look good for the cameras. What cameras? Pack your bags, Sam, cause you just won an all-expense paid trip to your grave! <gasps> and you get to watch him die! <gasps> Let the magic begin. So dramatic. Ladies and gentlemen, for my first trick I give you, the Rainbow Wheel of Death! Oh. Yay, how death. Ah! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, also that's not known good. as emetics, the ride. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> exactly. Throw some daggers. No hatchets. Hey. Sorry, I got excited. I've got a better idea. I'll just torture him mercilessly until he begs me to shoot him with his own gun. Ah. <laughs> that's too slow. Just chop my head off, come on. Gonna better than that. Um uh, Oh no, not one of those 3D images. If God had wanted pictures to be 3D, he wouldn't have made them 2D. <laughs> True. Also, this thing is a spinning. Are they spinning? They're spinning. They're spinning. They are spinning. They're spinning. 
evil Chortle. <laughs> evil Chortle. Are they spinning? They look spinning to me. They're not spinning. I'm trapped. Now's no time for a chat. I'm beginning to think you met the internet while working on alt dot spoon dot fetish. Is that a heal blaze uh, magical thingy? I want that. <laughs> evil Chortle. <laughs> I bet Willie Mays never caught one while spinning on a wheel of death. Willie Mays. Now what is this? Magician's talisman. What? So that's how magicians switch places with people. By magic. A In duh. retrospect, I probably shouldn't have left that lying around. Way to go, Sam! You did it! Thanks, little buddy. Frankly, I wish it had been a little more challenging. Kind of a letdown. Uh, excuse me? Huh? I think you're forgetting something. You forget something? Me? No, I don't know. Bacteria! Oh, yeah, bacteria. Oh, yeah. My magic eight ball told me to bring my antibacterial soap today. Why didn't I listen? Next up, the number one magic trick at every prismatology torture party. It's time to separate your blast! Not again. No, not that. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. Until the saw hits you, then you'll die! Gruesome! I love it! Ah. <laughs> uh, 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 switch places. <laughs> Swap all you want. It drives the crowd wild. Hmm. Saw us, Sam! We dare you. Maybe I will. But it's bacteria. That won't do anything. Uh. Take this. Oh my freaking god, that was awesome! Oh my, you cut my head off. How disappointing. <laughs> I'm becoming quite the expert on decapitation. Press saw. For my next trick, I present to you Ticket to Oblivion. The Lunar Lander? It's the Ticket to Oblivion. It's the Lunar Lander. It's the Canadian Lunar Lander. Enjoy your stay in outer space until you die. Don't I have the key for this? <laughs> Sam! Bye! Bye now! I'll give the guy one thing. He does put on a good show. Uh, what if I um, um, use the key? I can't do that now. What do you mean now? Okay, stop places. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. It's okay, everyone. I'm all right. <laughs> oh, yes, I heard that. Good. Consider this a trap so deadly it would cause you to die. That is deadly. It's the cleansing bath of annihilation! Cleansing bath of annihilation? Oh, could we skip this one? I kind of have a thing about drowning. Mm -hmm. oh, let me think! I can't, no! I... Don't drown, oh, Sam! Bad, bad. Thanks, Never mind. little buddy. That's such a boring way to die. Try to get cut in half instead! Thanks, little buddy. I was gonna say I have a thing against um, eyes. Like, you know, in movies, like in old movies at least, nowadays you don't see it anymore. When they do like things with your eyes like there is worms coming out there is nails and I'm stuck yeah, disgustingness water oh me oh my whatever will I do oh wait bacteria can't drown <laughs> Shut up! can bacteria um crystals Popular demand, it's the Rainbow Wheel of Death! Not again. Okay, um. Swap places? Oh no! Mommy! I want to get off! <laughs> no, 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 no. Next up, it just never gets off. <gasps> okay, so it's gonna take a while. Saw us, Sam! We dare you. 
What if I don't do it? Oh! Uh, what are you doing? Just seeing what this saw can do. You dirty mutt! I'm gonna shove that saw up your- Oi! Come on, this Television. is a family show! I wouldn't swear. I'll just kill him some other way! Yes, kids, it's your and my favorite. The cleansing bath of annihilation. Okay, uh, what if I just swap places? <laughs> and then what if I use the key to the Lunar Lander and cook you up? Hey, you bless, separate this. Howie, cast your eyes. Faster Come eyes, down, you Max. please. You just won the grand prize, a drink of our villain. Don't, don't, hey, don't. You bliss. See you on the other side. Oh. Well, I can't wait to see the souvenir you keep from this case. And with my next number one, I shall give birth to the cult of diuretics. Which reminds me, we've got to go knock out Wizzer again. And everyone else on Earth, for that matter. Oh, yeah! Hey, have you seen my boxing glove? I can't find it anywhere. This it? <gasps> I was saving it for a surprise. You're the best friend I ever had, Sam! And you're mine, little buddy. Now, let's go save the world! That's my cell phone. Thank you. And season one is done. Stick a fork in, open wide. Everyone is Max and Son, full of colorful guts and habits. Cryptic work of cryptic rabbits. Under oh yeah, because everyone got hypnotized as Max. Control. That's right. Rabbit rampant junk food. Black hole loopy cravings. The cow! And the director. I forgot the name of the cow. And the director. And this lady. Oh my god. She has a gun. <laughs> so, ima imagine a world where everyone has a gun. And there isn't fallout. Or... Any other Shut up. It's a max, 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 max world. But yeah, season one is done. I don't have anything to say. I'll probably wait for the credits to be over to actually start saying something proper. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. What have been funny for us, Scott? There's peepers. Okay. Stick a spork in deep inside. I mean, the sequence is kind of fun. Everyone is maxified. For by nature, what's the difference? Just nomenclature. Shake your friends, adorable paws. Careful of his powerful fighting jaws. I would say to leave those guys alone, but then you remember they think they're max. So maybe it's not a good idea. David Nolan. 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 This is it. Uh, where's the food? Uh, surely there's a buffet back here. Why was he in the microwave? Wait. Is the Federally Hill Blaze at the same project. same person? A calf or a graven image? I'll only rest once people are sacrificing their firstborn unto me. Also, I'd like to direct. Ow! <laughs> we 
Reality is tenuous, like tied up at a sagging wall. Morality in motion, like a squirmy pearl at bag of dwarfs. Formality's impossible when all of us are lagomorphs. Lagomorph, oh lagomorph, oh what the hell's a lagomorph? It's kind of like a rodent, but for minor technicalities. Are they searching for more hypnotized people? Or are they mass cleaning the hypnotists? Are they just having fun, I guess? Why peepers? Guess Peeper is the less annoying of the trio. Unmitigated, unreserved, unquestionable excess. Larkiness, sharkiness, snarkiness, and selfishness. Um. Lags of pure, unfettered, and brash. Okay, that was something. I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. Our characters doing Max Idol, Idol animations. Okay, season one done. Yay! Thanks for sticking by. It it took a while for the game to pick up the pace a little bit. In, in my opinion. See, episode 1 was cool, episode one, 1 was fine. Also, you feel like they are getting the role of the characters a little bit. Like the voice acting is different, the, the pace of the characters are a little bit different as well. It feels like they're trying to understand how to play Cinemax. So episode 2, they played a little bit safe. Too safe. To the point that it was the worst chapter. But I, I don't like chapter 2, episode 2, whatever. I don't like it. It's too slow. It's a little bit too boring. Episode 3 with the Mafia, I don't remember. I don't remember what I did in episode 3 with the Mafia. It went a little bit too fast. And also I remember I had a beer before starting it. So it, it was just... Or maybe it was too easy. It was too straight and direct on what to do. I don't know what happened. I really don't. Episode 4 of is when the game starts getting fun with the whole presidents and they start making more adult jokes with all sex and, and propaganda and stuff and the war song they start being a little bit more risque episode 5 i like episode 5 people say they don't really enjoy the whole internet thing it gets a little bit long a little bit repetitive just going back and forth between i, I get it it gets repetitive going back and forth between the real worlds and the internet world and it doesn't change a lot of the layouts of stuff but I still enjoyed it I still enjoyed it I thought it was really creative episode 6 was fine as well it was fun it was creative like the whole cult of happiness and just making people throw up throw up rainbows not everyone though and Sybil being the Queen of Canada <laughs> and now the United States belongs to Canada it is salt of whatever you call it. I don't remember. Well, good luck taking care of the United States. Well, now there is season two. Next week. Next, next week. Like this, as I said, it's gonna be recorded. So, yep. Yeah. Next week. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you next time.